What's up everybody, Patrick here, welcome back. We have another question to do with polynomial functions. So we have to write an equation and sketch an example of a cubic function with zeros at negative three and positive one that has an order two. Now let's start off with the sketch. So zeros, that's the same thing as x-intercepts. So we know that this cubic function is going to have an x-intercept at negative three and at positive one. And at positive one, it's gonna have an order two, meaning that it's gonna bounce off at positive one. So an example of a cubic function like that would be maybe a function that goes through negative three like this, gets to positive one, and then bounces off. Now, notice how they didn't give us any other point. So we could have also started this function up here. So we could have went through negative three this way, got to positive one, and then maybe bounced off that way. That would mean it's a negative leading coefficient because we're starting in quadrant two, ending in quadrant four. This uh, original graph that we drew has a positive leading coefficient. It starts in quadrant three, ends in quadrant one, but either way works. So let's, uh, let's stick with the, um, the positive leading coefficient that we initially drew. And now we have to give an equation of a cubic function. So with an equation, we always start with the x-intercept. So we know one of the brackets is gonna be x plus three, right? x minus that x-intercept. So x minus negative three turns into x plus three, and then x minus one here. And we know that this factor has an order of two. So there's gonna be like this squared here. And then we can just even leave it like this. That would be an example of a cubic function, or we can put any coefficient in front here. So we could put a two here, we could put a 20 here. It could also be a negative leading coefficient. So we could put like a, um, I don't know, like a negative 10, and then the shape would be that other graph that we drew before. Whatever you wanna put here, you could just leave it as one as well. So you could just leave it like that. So that is an example of a cubic function with these characteristics here, and that's an example of a sketch. 